You've downloaded the Leather Craftsman book themes and now you're ready to actually design a Leather Craftsman book. First thing you need to do is import your images. I've got a project already started here. It's called ha Haley and Clayton's Engagement. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select New Book. And what happens is you're going to get this drop down screen and you're going to have two things that you're going to need to do here. First thing you're going to do is select the book type and you'll see that the Leather Craftsman book themes are going to be right here. And we're going to then also name the book and let's just call this Engagement 1. It would be the first engagement book we do. And then you pick your size. And the, the themes are sorted by size. There's an 8 by 12, a 10 by 10, and a 14 by 11. Right now, we're gonna ha we have three. Eventually, we'll have about 54 different sizes in here for you to choose from. This is a, how you actually design your book. So let's pick the 10 by 10, and it will choose theme. You'll notice that I have this already open. Yours probably won't open like that. And the way I did that is... Uh, hide layout options. That's if you wanted to do like stroking around the images, that sort of thing, or borders around the images. So you're probably going to open up like this. If you want to see that uh, screen that has the, the show layout options, just click on that and you'll have your borders right there. So we'll just work with that closed for right now. And you're gonna, we're going to default to uh, 22 sides. The minimum number of sides for a Leather Craftsman book is 16, and you can go ahead and either select the uh, theme that you, the, the, this particular template if you want, or you can hit this down arrow and then you can scroll through the hundred templates that we have. Um, and when you're on a side like this, you're only going to be able to pick single sides. And then when you're on a side like this that has a spread, you can either pick uh, a single side or you can pick a spread and you can see that all the templates are here there's blanks here if you want to as well the other way to see the, the templates is to use the the master page set right here you can also see them as well then you could actually just begin your design you can just take one drop it in there click on the next one take it drop it in there that's how you do it